Last year, when we first debated a potential ban, uh, Mr Walker, in this, in this very chamber, I went on public record and I said that I wanted Trump to come. I wanted him to visit Bradford, Bradford West. We, we've, uh, I wanted to take him out for a curry. I invited him for a curry. I wanted him to see what contribution Muslims make uh, to this country and to my constituency. I wanted him to meet real Muslims, not the ones he has invented to for his own ends. I wanted him to walk down the street and meet pe people such as the Chief Superintendent, Mabs Hussain, who was born in my constituency. I wanted to be and go take him to the school like Ikra Primary and meet a Muslim head teacher. And I wanted him to visit health professionals like Sahara and Lister Pharmacy and see Muslims on the front line of our healthcare service. I wanted him to see some of the tremendous businesses in my constituency being run by Muslims, providing jobs and growth, like Lala's, like N. Khan's, My Lahore's and many others. I wanted to show the world the cultural impact Muslims play in my constituency through things like the amazing Bradford Literature Festival that is run by two extraordinary Muslim women. The, the World Annual World Curry Festival, organised by a Muslim man. But to do so now, Mr Walker, now that he is president, will only reinforce and condone his actions, his divisive, racist and sexist messages. This is, that is sadly what he stands for at this moment and what he represents. And this flies in the face of everything we stand for, everything we thought we shared. We cannot support what he's doing by offering him legitimacy. We, my honourable friend touched upon double standards. The difference in this, in, this, in this conversation here is that the British people are aware of the human rights violations by the, about the misogyny that happens when we offered a visit by the Chinese Premier. So to pointing, out, pointing out all of that, we do not look to China for its record or advice and support on human rights records or on how to treat women. We do not do that. But we do look to America. We do look to the United States of America, the, 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 uh, the leader of the free world, to support us in those shared values. What this president does not represent is those shared values that belong to us, that belong to this house, that we have seen. You know, my, my children have even seen the movies where women have thrown themselves on these cobbles outside to get the right, votes to, right, right to vote in this country. We have, seen, we, we have seen what has happened with the civil rights movement. We cannot, where does this, when I spoke about this in the main chamber, I talked about the three steps, the first three steps to genocide as defined on Holocaust Memorial Day in their booklet. And I can tell you we're already on step three. So when the honourable gentleman tells me, are we stopping World War III? Actually, what are we contributing to by allowing President Trump to continue in that rhetoric which divides people and tells us that the Muslims are the enemy, that the Muslims are the enemy within. That is me as a Muslim in this house. I am not an enemy to Western democracy. I am part of Western democracy. I fought my election really hard. I fought against all them things, them, that bigotry, the sexism, the patriarchy, to earn my place in this house. By allowing Donald Trump a state visit and bringing out the crockery, the china, the red carpet, what we are doing is endorsing all those views, all those things that I fought hard against and saying, do you know what? It's okay. Mm. So I absolutely thank the millions who have signed this petition. Uh, my heartfelt thanks to them and I really, really do hope we do not honour this president. Yeah. Yeah.